Hi, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and this is the monthly message for the sign of Taurus. So guys, if you are a Taurus, or if you were just drawn to this message, it may be for you. Keep in mind it is general, so it can't possibly touch everyone's situation, but take the pieces that you feel resonate on a soul level, disregard the rest. Honestly, don't dwell on it, go about your day. But know that no matter what spirit says, what the cards say today, it's still up to you guys and your active free will and your empowerment on the choices you make and the steps you take, really, to get the fulfillment that you'd like to see in your world. So for me, that's awesome. That's your grassroots evolution, right? That's your active free will and making your choices in motion. So we are closing out 20, 2012. Oh my gosh, no, we're closing out 2019, moving into 2020. And I feel like this particular time for you guys is um, a time to really rediscover um, the vigor and zest for life. This is awesome for you guys. It's what I'm hearing and it's the second time that I've heard it. I've tried to record this a few times and I get mumbled in my words. So um, that being said, I'm just going to take a moment to ask Archangel Michael to jump in to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself any of you who would ask for it this reading as well as to use me as the clearest channel and to, to deliver the messages for the highest good of anyone watching i'm also going to ask my team of light to jump in and archangel chamuel who i've never used before so i'm going to ask you as well archangel chamuel to jump in and guide us Okay, so before I move into the reading, I do just want to say if any of you guys are interested in a free um, reading from me delivered via email for December 2019 only, I am kind of doing this introductory, test my skills, give my gift to you guys honestly as well um, to if give you a reading. So if there's a question that you would like me to look into, or if you just want me to give you a message from Spirit for your highest good, we can do that as well. So send me an email if you would like this at grassrootsevolution at gmail.com and it would be awesome to talk to you. I'm in Canada, so if you would like to tell me where in the world you are, it would be awesome as well. You don't have to, but just to kind of see where this internet connects us and you know, we are all interconnected beings and it's really, really interesting to see just where, you know, someone may resonate or we may pick up on energy or, and same with me, there's times where readers I watch and I'm like, whoa, how did you know? You're so far away. So if you like that, if you would like to contact me, please do It'd be wonderful um, to have the experience and the practice for me as well. And again, that, that's my gift for you for December. So I'm going to move on into the tarot and I'm going to start with the Nicoletta Sicoli. Um, again, I will put all of, I will put my email address in the description box. So if you are interested in that, please don't hesitate to send it out. All right. As long as I receive the email in December, it will, um, I will honor that. Okay. So let's move in. An overarching energy for the sign of Taurus for December 2 2019. 2019. All right, so I was, I, the bottom of the deck first off here is the moon, and it is in reverse. You have the two of wands in reverse, and um, the wheel of fortune. Hmm. Can you tell me, thank you. We have the knight of swords, and the knight at the bottom there was the knight of wands. If you look at this, these are going towards each other. There's changes happening, and I feel like the universe is bringing these in. This is the Wheel of Fortune, right? This is that time to discover that zest, to discover the vigor in life and what you want from life, what you want to experience on a day-to-day -day even from life. How do I want to feel? How do I want to communicate? How do I want to talk to others? How do I want to see myself? Do I want to keep secrets? Do I want something that's underneath and hidden or illusions to educate me? I heard speech patterns as well. Um, but we also have at the bottom here was the King of Swords. So I'm feeling like this is needing to stay in high vibration and mental in our mental space and our thought space. If we get stuck too f and bogged down too much in looking in the mirror and at the unconscious stuff, a lot of times we forget that life's still going on, right? That we still 
um, need to go after new ways of thinking or communicate to the people that we want to communicate to and move forward through this lollipop jungle into what brings you joy and passion. My son is home again today sick and he's watching Dora. So guys, backpack, backpack, backpack. <laughs> what are you going to pack in that backpack? Okay, what well, in your spiritual backpack that you may carry around? What are the tools that you carry with you every day? If there's a negative thought or a negative belief system, if there's something that has been bothering you for a long time and you can't keep to sh can't quite shake it, what I'm hearing now is again using that spiritual backpack, thank you my boy, um, to say, okay, well, you know what, I am really good at critical thinking. Mm, pull that out of my backpack. In this situation, am I coming at this from my highest good? Is there something that I need to know? Oh, I'm really good at positive intentions. Let's pull that out of the backpack. We have at the bottom here was the eight of pentacles or eight of cups. We are going to go through so many things in our life that it's really important to let go of the other stuff that's bogging us down and feeling caged. If we want to fly like this Knight of Swords, if you want to get on this and fly and soar and chase your dreams, to do this we need to let go of the things that have hurt our heart and hurt our soul. So again, with that spiritual backpack, bringing out, um, I just heard resentments as well could be here. And how I'm feeling like that is because there's one bird out, right? One bird is free. He's sitting there. And the rest aren't. So if there's a situation where there could be resentments towards you from others or you towards other people, what I'm hearing right now, Spirit is saying, it's time to try to look at these things a little bit more clearly and bring change and, end, and endings to those cycles where, you know, we've been looking in the mirror, seeing um, the unconscious or hidden realm too long, basically, for me, as that's what I'm saying. And as well as the Two of Wands often is about a decision. It being in the reverse is saying, mm, I don't want to make a decision because there's stuff I don't know. There's stuff I can't control. We have the universe, right? with the Wheel of Fortune. There's things changing. What you can control is your act of free will, your choices, your actions, it, it, in some ways even our feelings. When we get a feeling that is regardless positive or negative, but if it's negative, often that's when we're like, I don't want you here. Take it in. Feel it. Why are you here? Acknowledge it and then say, Spirit, please allow me to release this energy for my highest good. Please allow me to learn the lessons, to see the blessings from whatever the situation was and apply these lessons so that going forward, my mind is clear and my thoughts are clear and I can communicate clearly and I can go after what I'd like. I would, can go after the things that bring me passion and I can speak with authority and speak with intention. See what else you have to say here, Spirit. What's another message that you have for Taurus, please, for December 2019? You have the Lovers card that fell out here. And this, again, to me, is either you could be dealing with a Gemini or an air sign. There's a lot of air here, guys. Or this could be, as well, needing to make decisions out of love. What does love feel like? Am I experiencing love in my day-to-day? -day? Am I allowing others to feel and experience love? What does the love I give out feel like? What is the experience of you? What is the experience of me? These are things we want to think about, right? Is how we make other people feel. Those are things they don't forget, right? Those are things that we don't forget. And embracing ourselves wholeheartedly and knowing that as we embrace the good and the bad, we don't need to constantly look at ourselves with self-criticism and all of that. What I'm hearing is love yourself wholly because as we love ourselves more as we fully commit to ourselves in embodying our truest self and our highest power because that is our power when we are authentic and we exude that into the world we're also giving other people permission and power to do that themselves because they see you doing that and they go you know what nothing happened to them or you know rather than looking at other people with jealousy 
empower yourself love all of you you will not be who anyone else is and they will not be you and that's your superpower in this world because no one's you so what's the love you want to put out is there a decision that needs to be made i feel like spirit saying at this point you know this this girl she's pinned right through under the heart and stuck here if something has stuck here right under your gut making it difficult to breathe making your heart hurt making life painful and you're feeling like you're stuck universe to me is saying you're not stuck when we feel these things again acknowledging them asking to release them as well as to say is this for my highest good if these thoughts come in you could say i would never um if it's something you know um to say that's not my truth i don't believe that if there's negative thoughts coming in you know or if there's places where forgiveness needs to happen or be healed you can always Imagine yourself going into um, in any meditative time or just quiet time. Imagine a situation that you're still holding on to that's difficult for you. Take a moment. Stop time. Go back in here in your mind's eye. Tell yourself, honey, it's okay. Either stop this now because it's going to lead to ruin and you're going to regret this. Or stop this now this person this relationship the situation is not for your highest good there were lessons learned and we're going to apply them now give yourself a giant giant hug and move forward with love and life and allowing only people and situations in our life that fuel our fire and that we want in our life if we don't want people in our life that's again our choice our choices are our active free will spirit just dropped a whole bunch of angel cards and i'm going to take them Harmony, right? Working in harmony, surrender and release, allowing the feelings to come, acknowledge them, and then release them. See this water? Because as if we hold all of it in, we can't allow new energy to come. So we need to release what's not serving us anymore, this stagnant water that's not tasty, <laughs> release it so that when you take a drink of that water, it's fresh and it's crisp and it's cold and it's beautiful. It's not been sitting here too long and it's kind of musty. Listening, listening to yourself, spirits, spirits, sorry, others, asking that they're for our highest good if we're calling in angels or guides that they're delivering messages that are clear and for our highest good as well. But listening to ourselves. If there's situations where like, I don't know what to do, take a minute because the answers are within you. Manifestation, you've got the power at the tips of your fingers.